The Armed Forces of the Philippines appeals to lawmakers to support and sustain the capability upgrade of the armed forces. Darlene Basingan will tell us why. The Armed Forces of the Philippines is aware of the article published by an American website that says the Philippines is among the countries with worst armed forces in the world because of poor military equipment. Philippines is six among the ten countries with worst military equipment in the world, including Costa Rica, Iraq, North Korea, Eritrea, Nigeria, Tajikistan, Mongolia, Saudi Arabia, and Afghanistan. Based on the article, despite the Chinese military buildup in the region and near West Philippine Sea, the Philippine Naval and Air Force's pieces of equipment remain old, including its ships. AFP spokesperson Colonel Restituto Padilla Jr. said they view the article with an open mind. They also see this as an opportunity to once again call the legislative to support an expedited and sustained capability upgrade of the armed forces of the Philippines. The current administration is also not remiss in its support to the modernization of military equipment. He also said the efforts exerted to increase AFP's capacity by President Benigno Aquino III is better compared to the past three administrations. This was also the statement of Presidential Communications Operation Office Secretary Hermino Coloma Jr. The Secretary said one of the priorities of President Aquino's administration is the AFP's modernization. Sa Sibulat Sapul ay kinilala ng Aquino administration ang kahalagahan ng pagpapahusay sa mga kagamitan ng ating sandatahang lakas. The administration has also bragged about the upcoming delivery of squadron of fighter jets procured by the government from South Korea. This is aside from the radars, helicopters, fixed-wing transport aircraft, C-130, sea leaf vessels, and additional military equipment the government is targeting to acquire for the AFP. Colonel Padilla also said that although it is still a long way ahead to attain the 100% modernization of AFP, he assured that the foundations for the capability buildup are already there, especially if Congress can help fast-track all these initiatives through laws. Berlin Basingan reporting for Y News.